All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this Athenian Stranger tutorial video where today we are going to take a look at fractional distance in just one dimension. That would be fractional distance on a number line. Okay, so let us imagine that we have here a number line. And let's say that we have point A and that point A is located at negative 9. Point B is located at positive 6. And what we'd like to know is, what is the point that lies 2 thirds of the distance from point A to point B. Okay, so a couple things to notice here right away is that direction matters. So are we going from point A to point B or are we going from point B to point A? Because that would be two separate locations. Uh, so when we're trying to find fractional distance, all we have to do is ask ourselves, what is the absolute difference between the two points? Okay, so what we would do is we would say, well, what is the absolute difference between point A and point B? We put that in absolute value brackets like this. And so we just substitute in our, our, our coordinates, if you will, for point A and point B. In this case, it would be negative 9 for point A and 6 for point B. So negative 9 minus 6. And the reason we put these values or this difference in absolute value brackets is so that the answer we get is positive. Uh, basically, you cannot travel a negative distance in physical space. So when we subtract 6 from 9, okay, we get negative 15. So this would be equal to the absolute value of negative 15. Well, the absolute value of negative 15 is just 15. Okay, so we have found the total distance between this point on the number line, negative 9, and this point on the number line, 6. Okay, and now we want to know what is 2 thirds of that distance. Well, so we just multiply 15 by 2 thirds. Okay? And when we do that, that's basically like saying 15 over 1 times 2 over 3. And we can simplify this a little bit uh, by dividing out a 3 in 15 and in 3. And then we just multiply 5 times 2, and that gives us... 10. Okay, so that is two thirds of the distance, but that is not the position of this new point C. Let's call this, we want to find point C. And C is going to be two thirds of the distance from A to B. So what do we need to do? We need to take our value of 10 and add it to the value we had for point A, which would be negative 9. So what is 10 plus negative 9? It is 1. Okay, so on a number line, um, this is not demarcated to scale at all, but you would find the position on the number line that lay between negative 9 and 6, where it is 1. And so I'm just going to arbitrarily put this in Let's see what the uh, actual distance is. Okay, so it's, if I'm marking this off by ha uh, quarter inches, 
see how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so if I mark off my, my line here like this by quarter inch demarcations. Let's double check to make sure that we actually have this 15 distance. So starting at negative 9, I have negative 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. So there's 15 spaces in between these two numbers. So now I would just go find where 1 is. Okay, so I'd say, well, I'm going to add 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that must be position 1. And let's check if it is. So that's negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So this is the position of point C, which lies exactly two-thirds the distance from A to B. Okay, so that was fractional distance uh, in one dimension. When we'll come back, we'll look at fractional distance in two dimensions and see how this thing really gets heated up when we introduce a coordinate plane.